Hello everyone and welcome to our bi-weekly dev sync. We've had Okay, I'm frozen. I'm not sure it's just me. Oh, you're back. I think I should be. Yeah, I'm, I'm back. Yeah. Okay. Um, so first uh, highlights from the previous week uh, with Daria together, we've been uh, hunting performance uh, problems with new implementation and we've been able uh, to improve it quite a bit. On my machine, I have uh, proving uh, finished under 150 milliseconds. It's quite a big progress since uh, 1.2 sec uh, 1.5 seconds initially, um, and it seems like on any modern machine with four cores and more, it should be possible to prove in under one second. So that should be uh, not a blocker anymore for our Gemini 3e. In terms of the consensus, there are some usability problems outside of proving, but otherwise it seems to be pretty good. Um, there was uh, there were updates regarding core EVM and MUD. Uh, maybe Vat can share those updates for us. Um, hey everyone. Uh, yeah. So last week uh, we have uh, MUD. We were able to deploy MUD on DevNet uh, where core EVM is running, and uh, right now we are planning to get core EVM uh, running on Gemini 3D, so we could do we could deploy another MUD project on Gemini 3D, and also let anyone else who wants to do that there. Um, again, it's still work in progress, and uh, as soon as we have uh, core EVM open running in Gemini, I'll I will let everyone know through an uh, through an announcement. Yeah, I saw there was uh, a snapshot with some backports. Uh, can you maybe update on the progress, like what, how, we, where we are, and what's left? Yeah, so we were able to get uh, the main changes required to get the core EVM into into the Jamai 3D maintenance branch. Uh, we have a snapshot. Uh, we have the documents ready. Uh, Mohammed is getting to uh, deploy them. Uh, there is, uh, it is a multi-step process. Uh, the first step is to let everyone update their notes to the latest release. Uh, once, once, once that is done, I'm not sure uh, how much time do we need to give uh, for the community to get up uh, to do an update before we do. I think we need upgrade. to coordinate that with the uh, community team to make an announcement. Otherwise, no one will upgrade. And okay. even if you make a br announcement, it's not guaranteed. Um, so how do we go on that? Like, so I think that is kind of like a blocker because I do not want to do a runtime upgrade on a primary uh, when we when the clients have not uh, been updated completely. That would is it give just a for execution side or everyone has to upgrade? Um, everyone has to upgrade at least uh, for the API changes that we made on the primary runtime. Uh, so that needs to be there uh, on the runtime. Again, of course, it's on the execution side. Uh, in that sense, not everyone needs to update it. So yeah, that's what I'm asking. Like, if someone is not running an executor, do they have okay. to upgrade, or yeah. is it no. fine? No, that is fine. Uh, that is fine. So, uh, and that's one of the reason why I think we don't need to do uh, the announcements as well because we are the only ones running the uh, Gemini nodes, uh, the domain nodes. Um, so once Muhammad finishes the the configuration, we could deploy that to EVM and uh, do a. Uh, start of EVM there. OK, so looks like all of the blockers uh, regarding our roadmap to the first world uh, have been released. Like we, we have EVM, we have yeah. MUD, everything works. Yes, until unless we see something else on Gemini that we haven't seen so far, uh, we are there are no further blockers for us to deploy a MUD project on EVM. On OK, so do you expect that to happen this week? Uh, yes, uh, the, the infrastructure changes should be much more uh, simpler. Uh, we do have to make it configurable, so that should be straightforward. Hopefully, in the next few days, we should have uh, the deployment done and be ready to start a core VM there. And in the meantime, uh, um, I'm going to do a runtime upgrade on the primary chain uh, because we need those APIs uh, for the executor nodes to uh, pass in the changes that we have. Uh, so that could be done parallelly. So hoping uh, in the next few days, we should have those things ready and ready to uh, start core EVM. OK, that's very exciting. Um, so 
other team wide updates uh we as a reminder will start uh, protocol engineering retreat next week that will be a working uh retreat so you expect to be you are expected to be on the meetings who is present there like you can expect everyone on the team to be more or less available except when they are participating in sessions that's where availability will be limited but it's not like we are going offline for a week um I personally will probably be more or less unavailable starting maybe Thursday uh, due to longer travel. And as a reminder, uh, this week, I think it's Thursday. Uh, yes, we will have another AI workshop and everyone is expected to be there. So um, make sure to check the time. And otherwise, I don't have many updates. So this will probably be the shortest. Um, DevSync, uh, unless someone has anything interesting to share. All right, uh, I think that's it for this time. And we'll see everyone uh, in two weeks with more updates. Bye.